Good evening, I'm Suzanne Shanali and you're joining with us on a special presentation. Now today on the program we'll be talking with regard to the Institute of Biochemistry, Molecular Biology and Biotechnology of the University of Colombo. In short, we can call it the IBMBB. So annually they are holding a conference for the uh, conference in Frontier Molecular Life Science, but this year they're having an international conference. Now to talk regarding this, we have two very special guests, professors actually of the University of Colombo, and it's my pleasure to invite Professor Prasanna Galahena, Director of Institute of Biochemistry, Molecular Biology and Biotechnology at the University of Colombo, and also Professor Nimal Punyasiri, Professor of Biochemistry. Thank you professors for taking the time to join me on the Thank show you. and uh, for sharing your ideas about this conference. My first question to you Professor Prasanna, uh, what is the role exactly of the IBMBB in the University of Colombo and what exactly are your contributions to the students there? Yeah, so basically uh, Institute of Biochemistry, Molecular Bi Biology and Biotechnology, what you call as a IBMBB, uh, it is taking part in delivering the postgraduate uh, uh, teaching and the learning for the students in the level of initially for the MSCs in the field of molecular life sciences. So basically it is on the molecular life sciences covers on three fields, uh, molecular life sciences itself and then we have the cellular and molecular immunology and then we are talking about we have the bioinformatics. So that is, that is our main role and that is our bread and butter. Uh, what are the programs that you all are doing currently in this yeah. program? So, uh, surely before I uh, come into the programs, what we are doing, uh, just let me give you some briefing on what is exactly happening in the local and the global scenario in this field of uh, expertise in terms of teaching and learning, especially focusing on the postgraduates. Uh, so, if you really look at the global scenario, uh, you do have uh, postgraduates and they are very expensive and then uh, you have very high competition on that. But at the same time, uh, why you get this competition as well as why it is expensive uh, because you have a huge career uh, prospects. So these are the, uh, the main, main roots of uh, the course. On top, uh, what we do here is we really want to get this delivery for the local students uh, by safeguarding their uh, the, the expenditure on these programs at the same time giving them the best quality teaching and the learning. So we, we really focus on these two factors in giving our programs for the students. Uh, so that is what we are really doing right now. On top of that we do facilitate the Master of Philosophies and then the PhDs. Uh, so this is our very special cases. Uh, we do take care of that. At the same time, we are making use of this uh, funding which is coming from the local funding bodies as well as the international funding bodies. So these are the, these are the basic uh, uh, routine work that we are committed to. Professor, would you be able to explain what the end goal of a student's life will be by studying this particular subject? Yes, the, the, the thing is as I describe you. Uh, I am I'm a bit worried about what are the job scope locally, but if I really look at our alumni of uh, the IBBMB, uh, most of them are now recruited on the academia and they do in the industry as well. Uh, but considerable proportion are there in the overseas, uh, so there is a global job demand for this. So what we really focus in at the moment is to cater the job demand from the global scenario, it is not on the local scenario, right. Uh, so that is where we, we really looked at and we have advantage on that because the thing is if you really look at the inception of this institute which was on 2004, it was outright grant from the Sweden, uh, it came out of the Sweden, uh, Sarek grants and then this was managed by the Swedish uh, management. Still we are having a close association with them and uh, so we do have a global recognition. On top uh, our institute is recognized by the Association of Commonwealth uh, Universities. So annually we are entertaining uh, at least one student from the Commonwealth uh, region. Uh, right now we have three students from the African continent and that is how we, we contribute uh, for the demand. 
Professor Nimal, since now you're the professor of biochemistry, yeah. uh, what do you think the advantages are for students learning this subject? And so far, what has the response been? Have you been having an intake of regular students coming in and enrolling for this subject? Yes, Sonali. So this is a, a major area of science which is required by all major disciplines, including medicine. So all the medical students are given heavy dose of biochemistry in the first year and all other molecular biology and all the sciences that covered by molecular life sciences required to study in the field of biochemistry. They have this as a major subject. All right. Uh, also, what the COVID pandemic, you know, has been taking place and the education industry was affected by this. Was this side of uh, the University of Colombo affected in any way and were the students disrupted with their studies? Yeah, very, very, very important question. So, because the thing is, we were really, uh, we were really prepared for this situation. Uh, so actually we implement the delivery mode called as blended learning. So we did our all the deliveries uh, make use of the online deliveries. So then we had the now, for example, if you are talking about a particular batch, we make their deliveries planned as a master plan and then we know where exactly the time of their exi uh, the exit. So we are not deviating that. So we, we, have, uh, we have very successful on that. Uh, to, uh, thanks to the use of this blended learning and some of our practicals, we put them together and get uh, them, the students on the on-site and did the delivery. So we are happy on that. Were there any challenges that you faced so far and how are you all overcoming this due to the global pandemic and other external factors? Exactly. Uh, now the problem right now what we are facing is the procurements. As you know that there is a crisis on the economy and then we are, we are a little bit of stuck on getting the procurement. Uh, right now as I said uh, since our institute is recognized by the Association of uh, Commonwealth Universities, we do generate the foreign currencies. Right. At the moment, we are now having uh, special accounts that we facilitate the inward remittances as well as the outward remittances. So we are having the solution for that. Uh, so we are looking forward and probably I am I'm expecting our deliveries will not be badly affected. Uh, so that is, we are confident on that. When you uh, spoke about blended learning, Professor, can this subject we actually taught online? Wasn't it difficult? Uh, you have a plus and minuses. To be honest, uh, the thing is, it is all depend on how the student participate on the activity. Perhaps what we do right now, we make the deliveries as the online and then we do the assessment of the students in a very direct way. Uh, so it is not a so called the classical assessment what we are having. We do make use of this uh, online assessment as well and see whether things are go, has gone into the heads of these kids. Uh, so that is a bit challenging, but it's all at the end of the day, uh, what I am uh, telling the students, it is you to take the responsibility of learning. What we can do, we can deliver, right? But it is your job to take it up. All right, Professor, now I would like to take your intake on what exactly the programs you all are offering from IBMBB. Yeah, so basically right now we have three uh, streams of studies, uh, as I said you, the molecular life sciences and then have, we have the cellular and molecular immunology and then we have the bioinformatics. So all three are lead into the MSCs, right? so then the, it's a two, duration is two years and it is paid course and we are requiring the eligibility criteria. We do have the aptitude test and the interview, only then we are taking uh, the student in. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, this year, that is 2022 intake, we are full, right? Because there is a demand. And then we really want to make our existence in a very perfect way by giving the best for the student and not deviating on what we are promised for them and we keep the schedule, uh, keep the program on schedule. So that is happening. And we are happy to have four professors on our board and then we have uh, 11, uh, five, six uh, academic staff on with the PhDs and we have the scientific assistant PhDs. So we are, we are rich with the human resources. So we are confident on that 
and those are the three basic uh, uh, qualifications that we are given. At the same time, we are working on the MPhils and the PhD. And uh, next year, we are adding another stream of study. You call it as a medicinal biochemistry and biotechnology. So all will come uh, together and we are really focusing at the moment on the industry. All right, let me pause your description on that for a moment. Like after the break, we will yeah. be discussing on the conference as well. You are watching the special presentation. We'll be back soon after a commercial break. Welcome back to the special presentation and we are in discussion with Professor Prasanna Galahena and Professor Nimal Punyasiri. And I think in the first segment, uh, both professors gave a good idea about what IMBB is and what the role that they are playing here in Sri Lanka in the University of Colombo. Now, to my knowledge, you are having this conference on the 7th of April and I want to know what this conference is all about. Uh, Professor Nimal, if you could give a brief idea about what it's all about. Yes. Uh, uh, being a premier postgraduate uh, institute uh, affiliate of University of Colombo, we have an annual research symposium and then in addition every five years we have international conference covering the area of molecular life sciences which has several subjects molecular biology, biochemistry, bioinformatics, immunology, cell culture and metabolomics. All these areas are covered. So, this is a very good platform for our students as well as other students from Sri Lanka and overseas to showcase and exhibit their work. So, we gave them a good opportunity to present their work at their conference. Would you be able to explain what the advantages are and the benefits by people joining this conference? What can they gain out of it? Yes. Uh, this conference is attended and presented by eminent overseas scientists in this area of molecular life sciences. For example, this here, we have eminent scientists from Sweden, US and India and few other countries. So, all of them are presenting in the form of symposia. We have about seven symposia, mini symposia within these two days, 6th and 7th April. And among them, we have several eminent uh, speakers. And for example, we have even discussing separate mini symposia on COVID-19. So, all the uh, speakers are from Sri Lanka as well as other countries who are very much experience in their field. Right. Professor Prasanna, uh, I want to know since you are the director, what is the end goal of having this conference? What's the vision behind it, having yeah. this conference annually? Yeah, uh, sure. Now, the problem here, what we really focus in is to make an open platform for our students and the researchers who are involved in the work or in this specific field of study. Perhaps we give the opportunity for the students to interact with these eminent people who are coming out and then exchange their ideas. And that is one aspect which we really, we really looking forward. The second, we really want to make some collaboration with these eminent people. Because as you all know, as a developing country so called, uh, we are still struggling on the technology transfers. So that is one focus uh, of this whole uh, symposium see how we can make use of these uh, eminent people and their laboratories and their uh, finances perhaps and to look for our collaboration and go moving forward. So that is the main idea of this. Particular. So far you all have been having this event annually yeah. and what was the response you received and the outcome you have is achieved out of this program? Yes, uh, we have seen so many collaborations coming out of these conferences because uh, eminent uh, professionals, as our director has mentioned, are interacting with our students and other academics. There will be a lot of uh, collaborations already initiated. So this year also, hopefully, there will be many more collaborations because collaborations are very important in our field of science, right, not professor. working in isolation. 
So, very, very important to share your knowledge and gain. Okay. Can you tell our audience about who can engage in this uh, conference, whoever who is interested, how can they join you? Yes, mainly the uh, researchers who has recently worked on research in these areas of sciences that I have mentioned. So, they can submit a paper. For example, this year we have received 100 research abstract. Out of that, there will be a, a group of academics which selected from all over across the, our university system and they are evaluating all the uh, abstract and select what is suitable for oral presentations as well as poster presentations. Then we give opportunity for them to present. But this year due to the COVID pandemic and the health guidelines, we have both hybrid mode presentations as well as uh, on site very few and mostly by the Zoom platform. So, that is the major difference we have this year. So, last year it was a face to face conference was Not, it? Yes, that is before the COVID pandemic. Before the COVID pandemic we have all the on site activities, on site conferences. Right. Yes. Do you think so this year via Zoom that this conference would be effective as before? Yes, I think because people are now very much used to uh, go on uh, by uh, join by uh, even lectures, many many things, even the health uh, meetings, everything. But the many 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 of the government meetings are now held via Zoom. Therefore, people are very much used. Some people might like it. Okay. Now, usually this conference has been happen happening annually, and the international conference is happening once in five years. And now the one which is happening on April six and seven, it's going to be the international conference. Who are the guests who will be present and who are the people who are going to be sharing their knowledge with the people who participate? Yes, generally, as, I, uh, as uh, Professor Nimal uh, explained, so we are getting now uh, invited speakers from Sweden on site and uh, so we are very lucky on that. And then we have few uh, speakers who are coming from US uh, and then India. Uh, so, so it is very diverse field. And then we really want to focus on all the area uh, which we have a potential at this end. So that is where we now, for example, there's a guest speaker who's coming from Sweden. He's, he's the master of uh, bioinformatics. So he's an expert on that area. So since now we are working on this bioinformatics area of bioinformatics, so we really want to focus on that area, how we can improve ourselves and make the collaboration. So all our invitees are, have a basis of selecting it is all focusing on our main core areas, how we can get the help from them. So, that is our, that is our basis. And I want to uh, share some other information with you. Uh, very recently, we had the delegation from the IIT Madras. Uh, so, it is it's, it's an untouched area what we are really looking at right now. Uh, so, now at the moment, uh, as I said, our MSc students, they have to do the project for six months at their second year. And these projects are basically in-house projects. And we have the facility, we have all the facilities. But right now, this IIT Madras, they are willing to take few of our MSc's as uh, collaborative projects to be facilitated at that end. It is uh, all tuition fee free and only things they have to look after their living expenses. So, we, 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 we were really working on that line as well, see whether we all the, uh, those who are in uh, deserve for doing the, that kind of research in India. And perhaps all these uh, projects that is coming from the IIT Madras is backed by the industry. So, then we see uh, our students are performing well, right, and they will see what is the scope of their work in the industry is very, very important and perhaps it is a way of opening the, the, the job market at that end. Uh, so, that is where we, we, we are really uh, thinking of beyond our territories and see how we can improve. So, this is where we are for, heading for. Thank you, Professor. That is that's very insightful of you to mention that as well. Now, in this conference, uh, Professor Nimal, are there any special events which are happening within this program? Yes, of course because there is a very uh, eminent professor in Sri Lanka called Professor Stanley Vijay Sundara, who is a great biochemistry professor at the Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo. Uh, so, in this occasion, we have a lecture called 
Professor Stanley Vijayasundara Memorial Lecture. So, at this international conference during the inauguration ceremony, we have one of the eminent uh, speakers from Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo, uh, Vidya Jyoti, Professor Vajira Desanayaka will be delivering this memorial lecture at the inauguration. So, that is a very special event. Uh, what is the um, program so far for both the days? What can people who are engaging in this program expect from the 6th of April to the 7th of April? So, they expect to gain new knowledge and then as I mentioned previously, the collaboration is very important because outside scientists are engaged in this conference. So, they will have access to our facilities, they can contact our academics and other scientists and a lot of interaction will be there. It will be very gainful to both parties. All right. I think we are reaching the end of our session as well. Just before we end, would you be able to explain again how people out there can engage in your programs? What's the platform available and how can they reach out to you? Yes. We have a very good uh, website which is updated regularly uh, www.ibmbb.com. Even if you type just IBBMB in the Google, you will directly lead to our website. It is very much updated. Uh, in addition to the normal uh, masters, MPhil and doctoral programs our director has mentioned, there are several short courses. Even A level qualified people can attend that for example, one is just a certificate course in molecular biological techniques, techniques in immunology, techniques in cell culture. So, all these things are available for people to apply. It be regularly advertised on our websites. So, it be a really good for our young generation. All right. Thank you. And this was the end of our program. And thank you very much, Professor Nimal and Professor, um, uh, sorry, Professor Nimal and Pr Professor Prasanna for telling uh, the public how they can engage with this program. I wish you all the very best and hope this year also it will be successful as the previous years as well. Thank you. Very Thank much. you very much. And that was a special presentation. Anyone who's interested in joining this program, you can always rewatch this program on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash English. And this was our special presentation. I'm Suzanne Shinadi. Stay safe and have a good night.